Our three-week cruise from Seattle to Miami is nearly over. Next stop, Cartagena, Colombia. Hello everybody, it's Traveling Joe, and welcome to part 6 of our series on our cruise from Seattle to Miami. In our last video, we traveled through the Panama Canal. Today, we're in Cartagena, Colombia. Our first stop is Castillo de San Felipe, a fortress designed by the Dutch engineer Richard Carr and built in 1657 by the Spanish for protection against pirates while shipping gold out to Europe. The fortress dominates an entire section of Cartagena's cityscape. Despite numerous attempts to storm it, the fortress was never taken. This is considered by many to be the greatest fortress ever built by the Spaniards in any of their colonies. This is one of the top tourist attractions in Cartagena and is definitely worth a visit. Next on our tour, we did a little shopping. The iconic Plaza de las Bovedas is a unique shopping experience. Here you'll find a series of small shops located on the eastern side of the old city. Built as storage vaults in the 18th century, these spaces were also used to house prisoners during several different battles in that era. Like many of the other stops on our cruise, Cartagena is a mixture of the old and the new. The city is rich in architecture and history. Our next stop is the Naval Museum. The Naval Museum occupies a great colonial building, which was once a Jesuit college. It features a collection of boat models from throughout the centuries. In addition, the museum features a large collection of reconstructed cityscapes. It opened in 1992 on the 500th anniversary of Christopher Columbus's arrival in the New World. The museum is a great place to learn about the naval history of Cartagena, ranging from the time of colonization to the present day. After our tour of the Naval Museum, we were treated to some refreshments and some live entertainment. Let's take a quick look. Plaza de San Pedro Claver. This square is a popular gathering point for both locals and for tourists. One of the most popular attractions is the Church of San Pedro Claver. This magnificent church features both a church and a museum. Construction of the church took place from 1580 to 1654. The museum portion of the church, which were originally cloisters, tells about the church's history. Here you'll find a gallery of art and artifacts. In 1995, the church was formally declared a national landmark. As you head out of the museum, you'll find a beautiful courtyard in between the museum and the church. This is the perfect place to enjoy some peace and quiet. Next we come to the church itself. There's a beautiful stained glass window, as well as artwork on the inside of the dome and all around the church. Cartagena is the fifth largest city in Colombia and was founded in 1533. It features numerous historically important and monument filled plazas, as well as cafes, shops and bars. Our next stop is the Palace of the Inquisition. Built in 1770, it is one of the city's most beautiful examples of Spanish colonial architecture. The Palace of the Inquisition is actually a set of three two-story houses and is an exceptional model of a typical Cartagena's colonial house. 
This interesting museum is housed in one of the loveliest colonial buildings in Cartagena, but it covers a dark time in history. The Spanish Inquisition sent over representatives to punish heretics in the colonies for crimes such as witchcraft, magic, and blasphemy, which were considered to be threats to the Catholic Church. Torture was used to obtain confessions, and once a confession was obtained, the victim was sentenced to death. Whether you're interested in history, shopping, or dining, there's plenty to see and do in Carnegie. There are numerous restaurants and bars throughout Cartagena's old town. And I found that the prices were more reasonable than many of the other stops on our cruise. Cartagena was the first Spanish colony in the Americas and is Colombia's most popular tourist destination. In addition to all the colonial buildings, the city is also rich in cuisine, nightlife, and beaches. As we stroll through the Plaza de la Aduana, our tour is nearly over and it's time to head back to the bus. As our bus makes its way back to the ship, we get one last look at Cartagena. We made it back to our ship and the tour is over. It's nearly time to depart. Nightfall has descended on Cartagena and it's almost time for our ship to take off. Our ship has departed, and our next two days will be at sea. Our next stop will be our final one, Miami, Florida. Welcome to our final port, Miami, Florida. We've arrived at the Port of Miami and our three-week cruise is just about over. I've disembarked the ship and it's time to head home. We traveled over 6,000 nautical miles and visited nine ports. Since I live just a few hours away from Miami, I will be doing an in-depth tour of the city in a future video. Once again, this is Traveling Joe saying thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in our next video.